Hey everybody. Well, today we're going to take a look at this very interesting model that I happen to find at the hobby shop today. So it's the bipedal walking robot and it's by Tamiya, which I found interesting because um, I've always known Tamiya to be a model paint company. But as we can see here, this is a very interesting looking robot. So it's a two legged thing and you can see it's got these really big feet. So here it says weight transfer unit. Up here it says slider. Uh, here's a gearbox. There is the battery case. Over here it's called a limiter. And it just says uh, foot right here. So uh, it's very interesting. So it's a snap fit kit and a screw together assembly. A motor is included. It's going to require two uh, AAA batteries. And it looks very interesting here. It looks like it rocks back and forth to walk. So it's maybe some kind of weight distribution here in the middle. Very interesting kind of look to it. It kind of reminds me of Wiki a little bit, the little robot that I did a video on previously from Jason of Star Command, but it also kind of reminds me of some of those Boston Dynamic robots. Um, just some details here on the side, and it looks like it's a pretty interesting mechanism that's going to make this work. And also you can do some kind of a, uh, what do they call this? It's like a, an adjust adjusting gearbox attachment. So by moving it one way or the other, you can make the robot walk to the left or the right. So uh, yeah, very interesting. So I'll be curious to see how this works. All right, well, let's go ahead and open this up and see what the parts look like. All right, so here is the layout of the parts. So there's not like a whole huge amount of parts. Here we can see all these sections here. It kind of reminds me a lot of a, uh, a Bondi model. And it's all one color, kind of like this off-white or maybe a light gray type of color here. You can see all these different pieces. Now we also have some nice little bits here. This, these are some gears. And we have a switch that's already wired. I don't know if you have to do any soldering on this. I guess I'll find out. Here's a, a nice little motor. And uh, you can see the wires already trimmed here for the insulation. Uh, that looks like there's some grease for the gear, the gear work on there and some other metal bits and some rods, um, some hardware. All kinds of interesting screws in there. Very interesting. Some washers. And then I'm not sure what this is. It's kind of like a soft cloth type of thing. I'm not really sure what that is. Pretty interesting. So yeah, it looks like it's got a lot of interesting parts. Here's the instructions now. So we have kind of a glossary here for the different parts. Looks like you're going to need a screwdriver. Probably some nippers, um, a cutter, at least that's a, the uh, tools that they suggest. Let me get this fully opened here. Now on the front section here, we can see it just kind of probably gives you some building tips on what how to do some of these parts or making sure things fit properly. And this is where you start the uh, actual construction of it. Looks like that's the battery compartment. And then we got some gear work going on here, parts of some housings. This looks really interesting. I like it. I like it. Uh, <laughs> we got some more stuff over here as well. I'm really glad I found this model. I just, um, you know, I was at the hobby shop today and they have this section over there that has like some toys and some Lego and some, even some of the Roker wood kits. I was kind of surprised to find those there and they're getting more and more of these type of kits, which I, I think are becoming more popular amongst people because they like to put stuff like this together. Let's see, am I missing a page here? Oh, that's actually a, there's like a separate, oh, I see there's a flap right here. This is like page 10. There's more stuff that looks like the main body right there. Some of the legs. That's a little claw. Looks like he's only got one arm. Here's some more stuff over here. It looks like it's kind of complicated, but hopefully it's not really bad. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe that's what those... Oh, sponge tape. Okay, so that's what those are. That's where that sponge tape comes from. Interesting. Boy, all kinds of stuff going on in here. Yeah, hopefully it's not too complicated. Hopefully it's not something frustrating. But if it's, if it's like a, uh, a Bondi kit, it should be pretty cool. This looks like some kind of ideas. It says ideas for use, maybe some kind of game you can play, trying to make it walk into a certain point and position. 
All right, well, this is very interesting. All right, well, I can't wait to get started on it. And if there's anything interesting along the way, I'll show you in the video. All right, so this is what I've got going on so far. This is the gearbox. So there's four different gears. The only one that's different from the others is this one. It's got that hexagonal shaped uh, section in the middle right there. So be sure to put grease on the ends of them and uh, on the gear parts and also on the shafts. They give you this little bit of grease. There's not a lot in there. So, uh, but I'm hoping this is the only section that you're going to need to put grease on. I do have some extra grease if I need to put it on there. But I just wanted to show you what this looks like before I seal it all up. Because this little piece here is going to cover that. It's going to go on with these screws. All right, so pretty cool so far. Okay, so I wanted to show you what comes next here. So I thought this was kind of ingenious so that you don't have to solder the wires together. They use this black piece of tubing. So they give you a, a longer piece of this, and you cut this piece down to 10 millimeters, this little piece here, and then you cut two little shorter ones that like you see right here. That is two millimeters. And so you twist these two wires together right here, and then you just slip this piece over, and it kind of works kind of like a uh, kind of like a shrink tubing almost. But see how the wires are held in there, and it insulates them. And then on here, you just uh, lace the wire through that connection point, and then once you do that, you slide that piece of rubber tubing over it, and it holds it in place. I thought that was pretty ingenious. So uh, we're getting more and more stuff done here with the whole gearbox mechanism. This piece is going to go. On top, this is where the switch is. And then uh, we're going to be adding that piece. So very cool. I'm really loving this. Okay, so here it is all finished. It's very unusual looking, as you can see. So it, it went together really good. I, I mean, there wasn't really any problem putting it together. It was fun to put together. It's just kind of an odd looking thing. You'll notice it's kind of uh, leaning to the one side so the feet are just kind of rounded the whole thing is made so that the weight will shift back and forth uh this piece in the middle it's a really wonky way of making this thing walk i would have thought maybe they would have come up with something a little better and i will say that i had to tweak this quite a bit just to even make it work somewhat okay i it, i'm i would say it's not absolutely perfect uh the way it works but you can see how it all looks it, it is cool i like that the fact that it's different so here you can see that it has these arms and you can uh, adjust the tightness of this screw depending on how much you want to be able to move this. And then also the uh, claws will open up like that. These, these just snap in, but they're a little bit on the tight side. You can kind of see how these look. But yeah, so you can adjust that. Um, I wouldn't tighten too much of these things too, too tight, but you want to make them relatively tight. This one. Uh, even when you tighten it, this remains loose. This is made to move like this, so that when the legs, when it flops from side to side, um, it'll it'll supposed it's supposed to you know like take a step, but it doesn't take a big step. I mean, it does have some you know ability to kind of have a, a a wide gait to it, but this side I find doesn't move as much as this side does, and it maybe just I don't know the weight proportion. It has a way of adjusting everything here on the foot, you can loosen this screw right here and you can raise or lower this to kind of add some stability on the bottom of the feet right here. You do add those pads on here to give it, um, I guess, maybe some more forward leaning. It's kind of back heavy. I, I had a problem with the weight. It kept falling backwards like this when it was walking. And I actually had to add another layer of this stuff to the back just to kind of heighten that up a little bit they do give you uh, some extra pieces of that. I mean, you have to cut this yourself. But yes, you can adjust this one and this one on this side. And you're going to have to kind of mess around with this a lot. You're going to have to adjust which way you think that's going to work. And uh, also, there's a way of making it turn to the left or the right. And that's this piece right here. You can just flip it like this, and it'll make it more, I think it means, makes it go towards the right. And then that's to make it walk straight, and then I think this is to make it walk uh, this way. So it's kind of a weird setup. And then this whole thing slides back and forth on this little track right here. You got to grease that in the middle, and then also this will move uh, forward and backward. Now they didn't provide enough grease. Uh, that little tube of grease that I showed you, it wasn't enough grease in there to to uh, use for all of this. So I had to use some other grease that I had laying around that I've had for other projects. I don't know if they just 
didn't put enough in that tube and it was just this particular kit that I got, but um, I sure could have used some more. This part here, I couldn't quite get this to match exactly. See how it's a little off? It's kind of weird. I, well, at least on the pictures on the package, these match up. Of course, that looks like it was a rendering, but I suppose if I can just kind of twist this a little bit, so you can see how this kind of turns like that. All right, well, let's go ahead and turn this on and I'll show you how wonky it is when it walks. <laughs> Okay, so the batteries are on the bottom here, and this little cover just kind of snaps on, but that's where they are. And then the switch is uh, right here on the front. So let's turn this on and see how it, <laughs> see how awkward it is. So the weight shifting side to side is what makes it move, but it, it's, it's not really even taking that many steps. Um, here, let me bring this over here. Originally, when I was starting this out, it kind of was walking better, like the legs would move forward. Let me see if I can kind of, like, they were moving like this, you know. But it's just such a weird thing. I, I mean, it's still moving forward, as you can see here. It's just kind of slow the way it goes. And like I mentioned, I had to do a lot of you know, messing around with this to kind of even make it work. It kept falling backwards, so that's why I had to add that extra bit of padding on the back of his foot. Now, um, let me stop this for a moment, and I want to show you, so, you know, you can see how that slides. So now if we click it this way, let's see what that does. Okay, now see, it's, it's kind of not even leaning this way anymore. And that's probably where you're going to have to adjust that thing on the side. You're going to have to make that stick down even further. But, you know, I think that's as far down as it can go. So you can see that it's just the, the balance is not that great. All right, let me, let me swap it the other way. Let's try it this way. Okay, let's see what that does. All right, so it definitely is moving to the left. So that actually works pretty good. You know, it's just a matter of, uh, here, let me get it in the camera range here. <laughs> it's so weird. It is such a weird thing. I don't know. I mean, it's neat. It's neat looking. I just wish it worked a little better. And maybe some more messing around with this might uh, make it work better here. You can see, see how that shifts the whole thing by doing that. So we'll put it back forward again and turn it on. So, I mean, it is walking and it is moving, but it's such a clunky system. I would have thought that they would have come up with something that's, I don't know, uh, a little better. I mean, it's just shifting the weight side to side. This thing is doing all the work. <laughs> I don't know, it looks, it, I like it. I think it looks better than it, it works. And uh, I, like I said, you're just going to have to adjust a lot of things if you decide to get one of these. And yours might work better than mine. It, you know, it's just maybe the way each one goes together, the proportions of it. Maybe your feet will be a different or, you know, I don't know, or tightening a screw somewhere that's going to make it walk better. But, you know, I mean, the, the feet should kind of move back and forth like this. It does have the ability, but before I added that padding to the back, it wouldn't, uh, it walked, I would say the feet actually, the legs would move forward more, but then it kept falling backwards. So there we go. All right. Well, anyway, this thing was uh, $26 at the hobby shop. I couldn't find it on Amazon, um, and I didn't even know Tamiya makes model kits. I thought they just made paint. So it's kind of cool. Uh, actually, no, I guess Tamiya makes a bunch of those, um, oh God, what are those? Gundams, like a lot of Gundams. My, my hobby shop has an entire section of those Gundams. They are so, so popular. And so uh, the, the model's cool. Uh, you know, the parts are really nice. It kind of reminds me of a, a Bondi kit. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think about this thing. Here's a side view of it. You can kind of see as it walks. Looks like it's turning to the left still. 
which is fine. At least it's moving. I mean, before, like I said, it kept falling over. So, but uh, yeah, all right. Well, it's pretty neat. If you want one of these, um, well, I don't know where you could get it. If you have a local hobby shop, um, you can see if they have them there. And if they don't, then uh, maybe you can uh, have them order one for you. Or you can probably find them online somewhere. But it's kind of neat. It, it was a fun project. I like it. You know how I am about robots. Anytime there's a robot that I can uh, check out, I think it's pretty neat. But that's it for this little guy. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd very much appreciate it. And until the next time, I will see you on the next video. So thank you again for watching. and. Have a good one.